All right, so let's make sure we get this in here. With a website whose size is determined in pixels, let's go back to Kevin Bacon. Um, with a website whose size is determined in pixels, we are stuck at the 800%, 800 pixels. There's not much we can do about that. So now the thing we need to do is change those pixels into percentages. So let's come over to the CSS. So let's go into the CSS. I think in this site it was in the assets and the CSS. There it is. So I know it was 800 pixels wide, but how many times did I use that? Let's do a find. I type Command F. On Windows, you'd type Control F. 800. All right. There it is in main nav, and there it is in content. So in those two areas, I'm going to change it to 100%. Whoops. Save. Um, I do remember that the main nav and the aside, which were the right and the left portions, we set at 60 and 40%. Remember that? So I know that this is the larger number, so it must be the 60%. And this must be the 40%. I'm going to save and take a look at that. Similar stuff, right? few similar things are happening. At the very least, we're not getting a sideways scroll bar, right? That's nice. Okay, let's look at a few more things. I'll start this part by making a few mental notes in my CSS. Um, when I changed this width to 100%, I just need to remind myself oops, that that was 800 pixels. So there's a comment that helps me find that. Let's see, this 60% was 480. And this 40% was 320, I believe. All right, so I've got my reminders in there. Right. So something to note as we look toward changing the rest of our pixels to percentages. It might be fine to leave this as 20 pixels and this as 10 pixels because maybe we would want to always leave it as 10 pixels. But it's important to know how to, trans how to translate these into percentages. This padding here is part of the full main element, which is 60%, so it used to be 480. So if I get my calculator out, I'll just do a little math here, and I'll say 20 divided by 480 and then times 100 equals 4.16666%. Now CSS can actually handle uh, several decimal points, so it's not a problem. So I will put, uh, let's see, 2480, I will change this to 4.17%. Save, and then we'll come down here, and again, this is on the aside, which is 320 pixels. So I'm going to get 10% of 320. Well, that's pretty easy to do in our heads, but let's calculate it anyway so that you can see. 10 divided by 320 
equals times 100 equals 3.125%. So it's these two tens that I'll replace with 3.125%. I'll do a save and a refresh, and it shouldn't look very different. So you can see what's happening, right? It's uh, my 10 pixel margins, my uh, 10 pixel padding here is remaining the same, and my padding between these two elements is remaining the same. So now we're going to deal with how awkward this kind of looks, two headlines side by side with all this.